Well, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me here uh, this evening, on Wednesday. And our service this evening is a service of a late evening office, which can be found on page 162 if you happen to have your prayer book uh, to hand. And not to worry if you don't. But thank you for joining me here this evening. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from all sin and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The appointed psalm for today and for this service is Psalm 119. I'm going to read the first six verses to you. Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose way is pure, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies and seek him with their whole heart. Those who do no wickedness but walk in his ways. You, O Lord, have charged that we should diligently keep your commandments. O oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then should I not be put to shame because I have regard for all your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from the letter of Jude. Uh, reading verses 1 to 4 and then from verses 17 onwards. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, beloved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ, may mercy, peace and love be multiplied to you. Beloved, although I was very eager to write to you about our common salvation, I find it necessary to write appealing to you to contend for the faith that was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain people have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were designated for this condemnation, ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord Jesus Christ. But you must remember, beloved, the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, they said to you, in the last time there will be scoffers following their own ungodly passions. It is these who cause divisions, worldly people, devoid of the spirit. But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others show mercy with fear. Hating even the garment stained by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. And to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. To the only God, our Saviour, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty. Dominion and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Well, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just a brief thought just on what we have just read. And I suppose what stands out for me just at the end of that passage. But on verse 22, and have mercy on those who doubt. And. We know uh, in the day and age that we live in that uh, there are a lot of people who do doubt our faith. They do doubt that 
Jesus really existed, that he really did die and rose again. And, you know, it is our job, it is, um, we need to have mercy. We, we need to show mercy to people who doubt. Because um, maybe we once doubted too. Maybe some of us, um, before we were Christians, you know, we, we doubted that it was true. And maybe through hearing the preaching of the word or through the testimony of Christians or the example of Christians, maybe we, we came to, to start to believe and to stop doubting. And I know certainly that was um, part of my story, my testimony, just seeing um, true Christianity, genuine Christianity in people uh, was attractive and began to draw me in. And, and those people who impacted me in my faith, they, uh, they had mercy, showed mercy towards me, mercy and grace, uh, and to allow me time to to come to that point of, of believing for myself. And so even when people seem to be totally against us or have no time for us, um, we have to have that element, I suppose, of, of mercy towards them. Maybe they're people that we know, maybe they're people in our, our, our friends and family groups that have really no time for church or our faith. And, it's our call to, to have mercy, to show mercy towards them. Mercy, grace, patience, kindness. And pray for them that they too would come to know Jesus as Saviour. So Lord, help us to have mercy to those who doubt us, to those who scoff us, maybe even those who have no time for us. We pray that we have a positive influence on them and to bring them to the point of, of knowing that Lord Jesus you are real and your love for them is so real a love that sent you to the cross um, on our behalf willingly to die in our place Amen Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people, that they may live in love and truth, and that they would be a credible witness to the Lord Jesus, that people would see in us the fruits of the Spirit, to see something attractive that would draw them in. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church, for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Pray that the gospel would continue to be preached and would extend far and wide, especially through online services uh, at this time, and that many would respond. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, that at this time in these difficult days, that we would not give in to fear, that we would hold fast to faith. And that our faith would grow in us. That others would see the peace that we have, even in the midst of a pandemic. That we have no fear, that we have peace. The peace that passes all understanding. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. We pray, Lord, that we would be those who seek to bring about peace in our lives, in our families, Lord, wherever there is conflict or disharmony, Lord, help us to be peacemakers. Lord, we pray for all governments at this time struggling to cope with a second wave of coronavirus, Lord, that our governments and our 
ministers, those our, our leaders, those in power would would make wise decisions, Lord. Grant them wisdom, Lord, to be able to do that. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Help us, Lord, to be good neighbours. Help us to be good friends, especially at this time. Help us to look out for our neighbours, to check on them, to help meet their needs. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. We think of those in prisons, Lord. Those who um, can only see their close family members via Zoom or some other online media. Pray, Lord, that you would uphold them, help them. Perhaps they feel safer being in prison. And so, Lord, we pray that uh, coronavirus would... Um, would not be found in our prisons, Lord, or even in our care homes, Lord, that you would protect these places where there are vulnerable people. Lord, we pray for refugees. We hear of people dying, and children dying, as they um, seek to escape their countries, their life experiences where they, they, they're living, Lord. Pray, Lord, that you would help them. Help them to be welcomed in, Lord. Help us to be those who welcome those who are fleeing from um, all sorts of difficulties and problems. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, for the sorrowful and the dying. And pray for those who are sick at the moment, Lord, who are suffering from coronavirus, Lord, that you would help them to be healed, Lord. Pray, Lord, that our NHS would not be overloaded. We're hearing worrying stories already, Lord, of that happening. Lord, help our NHS to be able to cope. Lord, we pray for the sorrowful, for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one. Pray that you would comfort and console them. And for those who maybe this day is their last, Lord, we pray your saving grace be upon them. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, we thank you for your blessings to us. Lord, help us to be mindful of those who have very little. Lord, thank you that we are able to contribute and donate to our food bank and our manna. Lord, we pray that you would help us to be generous in that, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. So Lord, we pray in your mercy, hear our prayers. And the collect for the fifth Sunday before Advent. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us to hear them, to read, Mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you the light of the world and the one true God. Blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us this night. Amen.